Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are just going to jump right into this really pretty gold soft cut crease makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started. I have first already applied my foundation and my eyebrows. I also have a peeling tattoo, so just kind of ignore that. So for this look today, we are gonna be using this Artistry Quad eyeshadow palette that I got for Christmas. A lot of you wanted to see a look with it, so this is what I came up with. First things first, I'm just gonna be applying some tape on the outer edges of our eye for the very obvious reason that this is a cut crease and this really does help. Next, I'm gonna be using this black Giordana eyeliner and I'm going to be using that to start mapping out where we want our kind of crease to go. Now with a cut crease, the big thing with it is you wanna apply it a little bit higher than you would your normal crease as you can see where I am applying it here. Another thing is that this eyeliner is very, very creamy, so it made it a little bit more difficult, especially when you are someone like me and you're not very experienced in the cut crease makeup world. Um, a creamy eyeliner just makes it a little bit more on the hard side, but you know, just work with what you got, you know, practice makes perfect. So after kind of mapping out where I wanted it to go, I'm taking a very kind of dense, flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going through, and as you can see, buffing out that eyeliner where we want it to go. Another thing is with these kind of like cut crease makeup looks is you want to buff upward and not downward. We want to keep as much of that dark color off of the eyelid as possible if that makes any sense. Next I'm going in with a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm going in with this dark color in the palette here and I'm just sweeping that into the crease where we applied the eyeliner. This is just going to give it a little bit more of a smoky, a little bit more of a softer appearance sorry, um, instead of a very harsh cut cut crease if you know what I mean. Next I'm taking a flat top eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to be mixing both of these gold colors together and I'm gonna be packing that all over the eyelid as well. We don't wanna put any of this in the crease. We wanna to try to keep that crease where it is and nice and cut and sharp. So mainly only focus this on the eyelid and just building up the color as I go. And then I'm also taking a smaller eyeshadow brush and kind of accentuating that cut a little bit. The next color that I'm using is this kind of burnt red orange color and I'm going to be applying that on the outer corner of our eyelid. This is just kind of like a last minute decision. I was just going to leave it with like the gold eyeshadows that we already used but I figured this was kind of fun and I like this look so that's why I did it. And then of course as always I went in with a liquid eyeliner and I just did a very dramatic cat eye. And I did this all the way out to the outer crease where the eyeshadow is, so it just makes it kind of really like dramatic and popped and all that good stuff. After a few minor touch-ups, after we remove the tape, we can move on to the bottom part of our eye. And for that, basically, I just do all the same stuff that I usually do. Um, I'm just taking that same exact eyeliner, applying that onto my waterline and then bouncing back up to the top of our eyelid. This was also a last minute decision. I wanted to use this Wet n Wild glitter. I will have the names of everything that I used in the description box because I don't have them in front of me so I don't know the names off the top of my head, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna be using this on a little eyeshadow brush and applying a little bit of glitter on the eyelid just to give it a little bit more of a sparkle and a pizzazz. This would be a really cute look for Valentine's Day which is coming up in a few days if any of you wanted to try it. On the bottom part of my eye, I'm using the same gold tones underneath where we applied the eyeliner, just to give it a little bit more of like a gold smoky effect under there. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using two different ones. This first one is the NYX Skinny Mascara, and I'm gonna be focusing mostly on my bottom lashes, just to kind of separate them and make them look nice and long. And then to move up to my top lashes, I'm going to be using one of my current favorite mascaras, which is the Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect in the color Very Black. And I'm going to be applying a good amount of this on the top lashes, and then the eyes are complete. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my NARS Laguna Bronzer to bronze up my face so our face isn't just one color. I really like having a nice sun-kissed look, as you guys know, and I really like to focus this up in the temples the most. That's just the look that I like on me personally. 
And then with this look, I thought it would look really, really good if I did a little bit of contouring. So I'm going in with my City Color Contour Effects Palette. And on my Elf Contour Brush, I'm just going to be doing a slight contour and blending that out with a big fluffy brush in a minute. But I just thought like with like the cut crease and the winged eyeliner, I just thought contour would look really, really pretty with this. So that's what I did. Moving on to blush, I didn't want anything too dramatic just because we have a lot going on with the eyes, but this one's by Sephora and I think it's called Tickle Me Rose or something. I don't know, like I said, everything will be down in the description box. For the lips, I'm going to be using a combination of two Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks, Leo and Posh Spice, and I'm actually going to be doing an ombre look with this. Really excited with the way this turned out, I absolutely loved it. You would never think this combo goes together, but it worked really well. So first I'm just lining my lips with an LA Colors um, lip liner in the color Natural, just kind of outlining them a little bit and making them a little bit more pouty. And then I'm going in with Leo first because that is the darker of the two colors. I do have a full swatch video of all my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks on my channel if you guys are interested. Then after that one completely dries, I'm going in with Posh Spice and I'm going to be focusing that in the center on the bottom lip and in the center on the top lip. And after I apply a good amount of this, I'm just going to be tapping this out with my finger to give it that really nice ombre effect. And then of course the star of the show, ha ha ha, no pun intended, which is of course highlight and I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Skin Frost in the shade King Tut just because I thought it went along really well with the kind of gold tones that we had on the eyes. So I'm just applying this on my cheeks, down the center of my nose, all that good stuff until you are nice and shiny. I always save highlight for the last because I feel like that's like the best looking part of this of all makeup really, like I just love highlight. And after you do that, the look is final and complete. Yay! <laughs> I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you. Bye.